All right, 12.2 is going to focus on properties of segments. So once again, these are not textbook definitions of the property. These are words that I use to help students understand the ideas. So the segment addition property says that the sum, which means to add, of two adjacent next to segments is the same as the total segment. So on my drawing, if I've got segment AC, it also has the point B somewhere in the middle, OK? What that says is my two adjacent segments. So here's AB on the left. And if I take BC, then if I add those together, that will equal the total length of the whole segment. And that's it. And you probably knew this without even knowing that there was a formal name to it. But somebody a long time ago proved that this really is true. All right, so let's look at example one. I always need to label the information they give me, and then you want to make sure that you answer the question that's being asked. That's the most common error that I see. So it says that EG, which is the whole thing, is equal to 45. E to F is equal to 15X. And FG is equal to 4X plus 7. OK, so if we want to find X, I know there is a relationship. So I'm going to take 15X plus my other segment that's adjacent, and that will equal the total. OK, so we want to see at least the equation on your paper so we know you understand the relationship. And then we want to solve. Combine like terms. I'm going to subtract 7 and divide by 19. So x equals 2. And that's what they wanted. So that question has been answered. For EF, I know e to f is 15x. So if x is equal to 2, I'm going to substitute. So that means that EF is 30. And you can literally show me that would be all the work that I would require. FG, same thing. If x is 2, I've got 4 times 2 plus 7. 8 plus 7 is 15. All right, midpoint. If I have segment AB and I know that there's a point C that is the midpoint, midpoint is a fancy word for the exact middle of a segment, which means if something's in the middle, it means that both sides are equal. And in geometry, we don't say equal, we say congruent. That means that they have the same measure. Okay, so that with a little squiggly on top, that's the symbol for congruent. And we ref use that for geometric sizes. Congruent, which means equal. Okay, so I'm going to put C. And the symbol on a drawing for congruent is the same amount of slashes. So if I have one slash on the right, I need to have one slash on the left. If I have two slashes on the right, I need to have two slashes on the left. Okay, and they usually go in order. One, two, three, and so forth. So for example two, it says that M is the midpoint. So they use two symbols to show those two sides are equal. We know that AM is 5x plus 3 and B to M is 7x minus 9. And we have three questions. So find x. So since I know that they're the same size, we can set them equal to each other. And then solve how you like. I'm going to subtract 5x. So 3 equals 2x minus 9. I'll add 9. So 2x equals 12 and divide by 2. So x equals 6. So then if I want to find AM, I've got 5x plus 3, which gives me 33. And for AB, AB now is the whole thing. So I've got, I know AM was 33, plus I need to find 7x minus 9. Okay, so I've got... 33 plus 42 minus 9. Type that into a calculator. This is what I'm talking about. Make sure you pay attention to the letters because they didn't just want BM. They wanted AB, which was the whole thing. Also, remember, if the left side is 33, and I know these are equal, 
the right side is 33. So we could have done it that way as well. Okay, lots of options. On our last example, we're just going to do another one, um, slightly different. So they tell us that A to B, which is this whole segment, and AM, and then we need to find three different measurements. So remember, this symbol means that that's the same as this length. So I can also write the same expression for MB. So to find X, well, the only relationship I know is I can set this equal to that, or I can set add these up and set them equal. It's really a choice. So I'm going to take these two together. So 3X plus 3 plus 3X plus 3 equals our total. So I get 6X plus 6. I'm going to subtract 6, so 6x equals 10x minus 16, which means I have to subtract 10x, so negative 4x equals negative 16, divide by negative 4, so x equals 4. Now, x can be a positive or a negative number, so don't worry about that. Lengths can never be negative. So if I want to find bm, that's 3x plus 3, so 3x plus 3, 12 plus 3 is 15. They want a, b, so if that's 15, that's 15. We get 30. All right.